Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something kind of interesting that I've seen loads on Instagram. I've seen it on functional tests has kind of sidelined the market with this. So what it is, it is the wooden spoon. I feel like I'm a Jedi. The wooden spoon. So the wooden spoon is that you see a lot of youngsters playing, a lot of coaches use it as training aids. This is what it's meant to do. It's meant to signify the same depth or the contact point of a racket. So a racket is 27 inches, sometimes 27.5 inches in length. This is bang on the sweet spot. If I had my racket with me, I'd show you the difference, but it's bang on the sweet spot. So what I want to, I'm going to do today, I'm going to try and hit this. Again, this is going to be really hard. I've got the ball machine down the far side, and we're going to see how easy it is to hit. And I'm going to give you the feedback on how it's like. If you've seen this before, they're super good fun, and it's just really fun to give a try. So we're going to give this a go today and see how things run and if I can make it work or not, or if I can't, because who knows how it's going to work. So I'll first do forehands, then I'll go to some backhands, and then I'm, at the very end, I'll even try serving, which, again, is really difficult to do. So I'll try serving at the very end, and we'll go from there. But I haven't hit ground strokes with it yet, but I had hit hitting serves earlier. You can see probably to my left, you can't see me, but I did try, and it was very difficult. So thanks so much for watching this far. I'll see you next part of the video. See ya. Bye-bye. So I put the ball machine on kind of a fast pace. Well, a fast pace. So I'm going to try and do some forehands first. So forehands. Oh, that's hard. And again, a bit of spit. Oh, that one is just out. Again, it really works when you're focusing on your contact. I'm pretty good on that contact position. As fast feet, set your feet, and striking that ball cleanly. That one was too long. Question is, that one's going to go in. Can you hit spin? I don't know. Answer that question is no, because there's no strings. So again, oh, that was again really tough. So a few more forehands here. Oh, I've seen some YouTubers say how it's quite uncomfortable after a while to play with, and honestly, it's not. And maybe after, I oh, felt nice, 30, 40 hits or so. Let's try a few more forehands. Try and go over, that would be great. You gotta really wash the ball onto the strings. Oh, last one was terrible. And here we go. Last few. Obviously, I ain't got the skills to this. You see some juniors that are just uh, uh, ripping it. Okay, a few more here. There we go. That timing. Come on. Yes. Last one. Put down. Dang. There we go. Uh, that's the best one of the day. Good. Go wash that ball right onto the wooden part here. Go really watch it onto the racket. Well, in this case, the spoon. A bit long. Last forehand here. And again, a bit long, last one. Oh, let's do one more. That's not too bad. But you can't really hit the spin. So I can hit flat here really easily. But spinning wise, not the same. You have to really watch. Yeah, if you go flat, this is so easy. Uh, yeah, so easy. It's a spin that you can't do. Flat. That shot, totally fine. Backhand. If you go flat, it's fine. But get any spin, really quite difficult. And the end. Come on, bad of the contact. Last few. Oh, I felt so good. I felt so good. That didn't, I felt like, shh. You know what I mean, I'm gonna say. I thought, oh, now I'm getting it. Now I'm really getting it. I'm gonna go and do that. Last one here, back in. Yes. I actually made it in. Okay, so I'm gonna go off the ball machine. I'm gonna go into my regular racket and see how it feels like. All right, see you guys in a second. Ah. <laughs> racket now. Again, I mentioned before this is how the sweet spot in relation to the racket. So I'm going to try, I'm going to put this down and try my regular racket and see if my contact's going to be better. Wow. Wow. Okay, I felt really easy. I felt so, so easy. Because I'm hitting the ball right in the middle of my racket. Yeah, I felt so good. I felt so good. And again, backhand. But I'm hitting the ball really flat. The ball really, really flat. It's spin. It's not bad at all. A bit more of that. Still flat. Hit spin. Let's see how it goes. Ready? 
So it's making me want to go really flat. Because there's no strings. <laughs> Before, it's able to drive the ball really nicely, but actually, <laughs> hitting spin isn't that actually isn't that helpful. <clears throat> Obviously, I can generate spin by just changing my swing path, but <clears throat> does feel quite good though. My sweet spot, <clears throat> that one felt great. It's definitely improved. Definitely. <clears throat> definitely, definitely improved. Hit the ball flat though. So, one more here. <clears throat> one more good one. Come on, Will. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> no, one more. Come on. And the ball's left. <clears throat> right, wooden spoon. Come on, the ball's left in the big ball machine. Uh, it's a lot lighter. So these roughly about 315 grams. These wooden spoons, roughly. I put extra grip on mine for a bit more uh, uh, thicker grip. It was a bit too small. But uh, going flat is fine. Flat's totally fine. Uh, says that. It's more the spin. Can I get, uh, like I'm timing it up here, so I'm not far off the sweet spot. Uh, that was perfect. You've got to time it when you get your, the, uh, a little early. So I was down here again. So I'm missing most of mine down there. Uh, yep, same thing, bottom right. It makes sense, because my sweet spot, uh, my racket, I miss up high. So it makes sense. Uh, oh my God, I'm terrible this round. Holy smokes, I'm terrible. Okay, one more. Rackets. Ah, oh. come on, enough balls. Bugger. Round of balls. So, anyway, that is the wooden spoon, and <laughs> it's funny. It's really funny. It's unusual. I struggled with it then. I really struggled with comparison to my regular racket and my actual racket. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over and look at some serves and see if actually I can serve. And maybe just maybe I'll set up my speed gun and see how fast I can serve. But earlier on, late secret, I really struggled. Like I really, really struggled. So, like I mentioned before, the sweet spot for me is right there. So when I play tennis, I hit my break my strings up here. So I actually am out of the strike zone for me. So this I find is quite difficult. So some players that you're used to that kind of sweet spot is kind of there. That's pretty much where most players will make their sweet spot. I'm higher up because my launch angle's higher. So it's been really hard, but I'm going to try serving. I'm going to try serving. It's going to rain soon. So the first thing I do, I'm going to try with my regular racket. My regular racket, and I'm going to swing through the shot. So nice and easy to get warmed up. I have served earlier, so it's not too bad in a way. Yeah, let's go again. There. Oh, crikey. And that's one, get nice and low. Ah. By the way, I am using Pro X by uh, Diadem string in here. It's, it's similar to Selenko, but not quite the same. And I'm doing a review on that soon. Diadem, I'm so sorry I'm not reviewed this sooner. I'm getting to it, I promise. So that's with my regular racket. Let's try now with the spoon. <sighs> this is going to be hard. I tried this earlier, it was bloody impossible. Can I serve with a wooden spoon? And the strike zone been lower? I don't know. There. Really long, really long. Let's try it again. That was better. If I do my whole pinpoint method, I ain't gonna be able to do this at all. I'm gonna really struggle. And again. Ooh, I'm pretty close. Is it hard to serve with a specific spoon? Absolutely. Unless you've got full confidence in the swing, you're not gonna be able to really hit this ball cleanly. It is raining, by the way, so I'm being careful. It's so hard. Again, my strike is higher when I serve, so it's lit. Really tricky. Let's do one or two more of the spoon, and I'm gonna try with the red racket and see how it goes. Ah, okay, I can make contact. Ah, one more, if I can pronate. Ah, okay, so I'm making those a bit low. It's interesting, actually. All right, three, one, my serve. It's raining, so I'm gonna try and squeeze this in. Here we go, can I serve this in? Ah, contact wasn't that much better, that's one. Here we go, is it any better? No, nope, didn't feel good. Last one. Will it help my serve? Will it help my serve? Yeah. I'll miss all three. Isn't good. So let's try one more. Let's get back to me. Ready? Ah. Not bad. So, that was the review of the wooden spoon. And we'll do more of this. 
I've got a game called Wheel of Misfortune that I keep mentioning on the channel. I'm going to keep mentioning it to have someone to play it with. And that's going to be involved with this. So thank you so much for watching. It is currently beginning to rain and I'm going to get my stuff in before I get rained on. So thanks so much for watching. My name's Will. I'm Performance Tennis Training. And I'll see you guys in the future. See ya. Bye.